2020 graduation plans. Where, when, what do graduates need to know? Sure, so I'm gonna start with June 1st. On June 1st, our seniors can come in and pick up their caps and gowns and yearbooks. And then our regularly scheduled graduation of June 12th is still in place. We will be streaming that on Berwick Community TV. So you can look for updates on the Facebook page for that or on the Town of Berwick Community page. And um, it's going to be, we're going, we're obviously looking at safety as being paramount for all the decisions we've made for graduation. But right now, what I can say is that it's going to be small group and we're going to have some drive ups. Um, students are going to be able to get their diplomas and have a picture. So more information will be forthcoming on that. The lunch program. When will it end? And are there any alternatives? Sure, so that is something that we're, we're working on and we're really hopeful that we're going to be able to extend the program. We're still um, serving lunches and foods for about 650 to 700 students per week, which is a lot, and we're running that until June 24th, and our hope is to have an extension of that throughout the summer. Additional to that, we are still running our backpack program, and that is working for about 150 students every single week week as well, but that's going to run through the summer. Summer online learning. What is this? Sure. So that looks different at the different grade levels. Uh, what I can say right now is that for um, the middle and high school students, we stu uh, the school will be reaching out to families about that. What we did at the elementary level was we asked uh, parents and we did an interest survey to see who would be interested in having some extended opportunities for learning over the summer. And we had very, very robust responses in each of the three towns. So we're working with families and staff around how to ind really individualize for student students during that time. Parent questionnaires, when will these go out? So we have created a, a task force right now to look at the learning for next year. And one of the things that, as I mentioned, and as you just asked, is about that survey. So we do have, we have three surveys that we're sending out. One is for parents and families to hear how, what challenges we've had, what has worked really well, uh, technology challenges or accessing, you know, curriculum challenges. We have another survey for staff to also get their input to see how they're feeling about the remote learning and what has really worked and, and you know, similar to families, what could we improve on? And then we have a survey for students all the way through from kindergarten all the way through till 11th, 12th grade. Uh, the survey for the younger students is going to be done with the teachers. The teachers are going to be on Zoom or a Google Hangout or a chat and get feedback that way. So those will be going out very shortly. Uh, we have them created except for the elementary younger, the youngest of the students and we're meeting this Wednesday to finalize that one. They're going out remotely. Remotely, yes. School ends next week. Typically there are teacher workshops at the end of the year. What are the plans this year? Yes, thank you. So school does end this Friday with students, but the teachers are working into, and the staff are working until June 17th. So that first week in June, we're doing a combination of things. We're working on class placements and class list development for the, for the fall. We're also working on um, budget item prep preparation for each of the buildings and usually our our teachers and staff have a lot of input on what they need as far as things in the classroom to support our curriculum that we're using. So we'll be doing some of that work. We're also going to be able to have students come and pick up their personal belongings um, within those two weeks for the elementary school. For the middle and high school that will be done next week and information has gone out about that or will be going out. Um, so some additional things that our staff will be working on is uh, especially that last week, um, the week of the 7th to the 10th or 12th or whatever that, that ending is, is um, about the fall and what will the fall look like and how can, we're going to have multiple layers of plans for just planning for whatever is going to come our way. So it, we're really using that time with our staff to be able to create some real meaningful work, however that's going to look. And we're certainly going to use the survey information that we have, that we're getting, uh, to incorporate some of that in our planning process. Is there anything more you would like to add? 
I think, you know, I just want our viewers to know that our attendance is still really great with, with the remote learning with students. And um, we're looking forward to, to, you know, to wrapping up next, next week with our students because they've worked so hard and our families have worked so hard. And different grade levels are planning some really exciting things. You know, we have our kindergarten students and it's a milestone to, to end their kindergarten year. And then we have fifth graders that are moving on to the middle school. So we've got some some really nice plans in place. So we're looking forward to, to being able to celebrate our students. Mm -hmm.